welcome back to Linux Wednesdays, where we look at Linux tips, tricks and software on a Wednesday. This week's video, I'm going to show you Bizarro. If you're looking for a nice, simple way to burn CDs, DVDs in Linux, then look no further with Bizarro. And you'll find Bizarro by clicking on Software Manager and typing in Bizarro and pressing on Install. Once it's installed, you'll find it listed under the Sound and Video tab and under Bizarro. When you first run the program, it says create a new project. You've got audio project, data project, video project, um, disk copy because it will create a one-to-one -one copy of a CD stroke DVD. You've also got a option there to burn an image. Now, if you use a program called DVD, which is D-E-V-E-D-E, -E -E, allows you to create a DVD um, with menus and stuff, and it saves it as a .ISO file. You can then burn the ISO file using this program here, Brazario. If I click on audio project, it says to add files to this project, click the add button or drag files to the area. We're going to press on plus and you can click on say your music, but I've got something on a desktop there and we'll try these four. And click on add. Now once you've got you're happy with your list, you can then insert your blank CD and click on burn. Now I've got no CD inserted into this computer, that's why it says here please insert a writable CD or DVD. If you don't want to do it as a CD, you want to do it as a Q file, just press the down arrow and select the Q file. If it's already on a Q file and you want to do a DVD or CD, press the down arrow, select your drive and just press on burn. If I press on project and we do a new project, and we do a video project, again we can just press the plus button, select say this video here which is the video I made a contact over 1,000 miles on a walkie-talkie and now the audio's got, um, radio's got spl spluttering problems and that was the Zygo X5105 that was doing that. Again, I can create an SVCD image or DVD image by pressing the down arrow or just select my drive and press on burn. And you can also press on tools here and you can do a cover editor. You've got a very basic cover editor here but it's better off if you're going to do covers, you can do it in this program here. Or you can use another program, which I've done before, called G-Labels. That does all labels and DVDs and so on. And you can do your back cover, your front cover there. You can do your spines and so on. If I press on View and we go View Side Panel, you can then view your side panel there with all your files. Let's turn that side panel off. If I press on Help, you've got Contents and About. If I press on About... You'll see here I'm using Bizarro version 3.12.2. You can click on the read the credits. Who's it made by? Created by Alf oh, Philippe and Lois, if that's how you pronounce it. So good on you, UT, for creating this program. You can then click on the license, it's freeware software, and so on. Press on close. Now, if you want to do a data CD, again, it's exactly the same. If I do a new project and we do a new data CD. And we're going to discard file section. Again, to add your files, we should just try it with a uh, burn image. Okay, when you do burn image, it's got image burning set up. Select, click here, select an image, so you can select your Linux image or your DEVED image. Select the drive to write to, and then press on create image. Let's press cancel. And we can do a disk copy again. So if you've got two drives in the system, you can then select the first drive. Set this one to right to, so second drive, and press on create image or burn CD. Let's go to download, it's going to create an image. So I could put a disk in there and make an image file of a disk, and then I can then burn multiple copies off if I need to. Let's press on cancel. And that was a very, very quick look at a very easy program for burning CDs in Linux called Brazario. If you found a video of some use, you know what to do, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, the other button seems to work too. As always, thank you very much for watching Linux Wednesdays. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.